Hello, Bottenfield. Welcome to another episode of BNN, Bottenfield News Network. Bringing you everything that's important at the Hive. I'm Mr. Keepus. And I'm Mr. McDaniel. And we're here to let you know what's happening. Yes. Let's start off with some celebrations, shall All we? All right. All right, in kindergarten, they are moving right along. We, we learned about the hundreds chart, and now we are learning about shapes. Shapes? 2D and 3D shapes. What? Yes. Cones and cylinders and squares and circles. Oh my. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Holy wow. cow. Uh, well, what's well, happening in first grade? Well, in first grade, Miss Davis's class has been measuring a lot of different things mm -hmm. and finding out which things are longest, yeah. which things are shortest. Mm -hmm. They've also been measuring time. Oh, right. Which hopefully these days get longer. I was going to say, I wonder if they can learn how to add time. I don't know. Man, that would be nice. Yes. yes. And to tell time. Ooh, now, this is really, really important because I found out that there are some kids out there that because of iPhones and everything like this yeah. and because of Zoom, kids don't use a clock anymore. No. So they don't. I think it's super awesome that those first graders are learning how to tell time. Awesome. Good job, first yeah. graders. All right. Well, now we're going to go to something special for Miss Cheatham's class. Okay. I think someone might have a joke for us. All right. Here we go. What is a shark's favorite sandwich? Come on, brother, and jellyfish. Oh, what a good joke. That was me and jellyfish. I know, right? Uh, all right, well, next up, we've got a fourth grade world changer. I like Let's this. check it out. Yep. The world changer for the week is Kareem Abdul Jabbar. He is a famous basketball player from the Los Angeles Lakers. Kareem always believed in himself. Because of this, he was the NBA's MVP in 1976 and 1980. He led the Lakers to the NBA championships in 1980 and 1982. Kareem was named to the All-Star team every year, including his rookie season. He was that good. One of his famous quotes is, I think someone should explain to the child that it, it is okay to make mistakes. This is how we learn. When we compete, we make mistakes. To me, this means if it, wait, to me, this means it is not the end of the world if we make mistakes. We learn from our mistakes. If I could ask Kareem one question, it would be, why did you become a basketball player? Wow, another world changer from those fourth graders. They are learning some amazing I know. stuff. It's become, it's become one of my favorite segments, too. It has, yeah. I mean, still still behind the, you know, did you know, yeah. which will be coming up here soon. Yes. All right. All right. So, so what's happening in fifth grade? Well, fifth grade's been busy. Oh, yeah? As you know, fifth grade, fourth grade, and third grade have all been taking the IAR test. Oh, that's right. right. So they took it last week for two days and all of this week, yeah. okay? And the fifth grade also have to take two science tests. Whoa. But while they're doing that, they also have been super busy in making poetry books, which we talked about last time. But yeah. this time they did something a little different. They made poetry slideshows. Oh. Yeah. And they're cool. super, super cool. So I'm trying to figure out, not too tech savvy. I've right. got to run Zoom. That's about it. Right. But I want to try to get it to where everybody can see them because they did a really good job. That would be awesome. You know, you might have to feature one or two here. Yeah. 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 We could do that. Cool. Awesome. Well, Speaking of art and working on projects yes. and all that, in art, second grade, are they're learning about the difference between archaeologist and paleontologist. Man, those are two big words. I know. They are about thinking about what they can learn about past animals and societies based on fossils and artifacts that have been left behind. Wow. Yeah. And they're actually creating their own fossil or artifact. Really? Yeah. So, sounding kind of pretty cool. I like that idea. I know. Yeah. Would you which would you rather be, archaeologist or paleontologist? Paleontologist. Why? Oh, because you could find like prehistoric. True. Prehistoric stuff. Animals and stuff. Oh yeah, that's true. Huh? Well, in music, they're, they're learning about how to compose music on the Song Music Maker Lab, and rumor has it they've been super busy. They have, and you know what? We actually have a one that's been composed by Lewis Way that we're going to show. What? Yeah. Like from Bottenfield? From Bottenfield. A kid. Yes. He's in first grade, I do believe. I'm, I'm sorry. What? First grade. First grade. Composing, making music. Yeah. Let's 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 check it out, shall All we? Right, let's go. Alright, let's go to Lewis.
Well, wow, that was kind of cool. Some yeah, music. Was, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm impressed. You know, yes. we've got some talented, talented, talented I know. kids at this I mean, school. all year, just kids have been yes. amazing, and they just keep surprising. Yes, they do. So, well, I think it's time for one of our favorite spots. So, oh, let's, let's, let's go. Did you know? Did you know? thinking of something. What's it make you think of? Well, seeing all this trash makes me think of Earth Day. Earth, Earth Day? Is that coming up? Yes. Earth Day is April 22nd, this Thursday. Oh, so soon. I know. And you know what? A good way to help the Earth is picking up trash. And if it's paper like this, you could recycle it. We have recycling bins at school. Yeah, so if you're looking for something to do at home to save the earth with your parents' permission, you could go out and pick up some trash you might see outside. Yeah, and I guess to do our part here at Bockfield, we can clean up this table, put in the recycling. Yeah. And you know what else I learned? What? If you just simply turn off your water while you're brushing your teeth, you could save eight gallons of water. That's a lot of water. Simple thing to do, too. So picking up garbage with your parents' permission mm -hmm. and even turn off water when you're brushing your teeth. Yeah. Nice. Try to save the earth, guys. Yeah. Earth Day coming up. So, yeah, Earth Day is kind of close to the weekend. Are you doing anything fun this weekend? Well, yeah, soon. I mean, I'll have volleyball over the weekend. Oh, I, I need to come to one of your games. Yeah, well, maybe. Okay. But speaking of volleyball, um, actually, I have a fact about volleyball. So Parkland College, just right up on North Mattis, Got um, it. they have a really successful volleyball team. And actually, this or last week, they made it to the NCJAA National Tournament for the 13th year in a row. That's amazing! And what's even cooler is they have been in the National Championship match seven out of the eight last year's. Whoa, way to go Parkland. I know, but they had their game on Thursday. They lost, so they got second, but it's pretty cool. They got second in the nation. That's still amazing. Good yeah. job, Parkland Volleyball. Yeah. Did you guys know? Did you? Wow, way to go Parkland. Yes, I mean, they are. It's legit out there. It is. Uh, it, it really is. is. The basketball team's good. The yeah. baseball team's good. And did you know? What? That our own Miss Herrig, the team, the uh -huh. tier, right? Their helps coach the soccer team out there. Man, no, I did uh, not I know. know that. Did you know? Wow. I know. We might have to work on some of that. Did you know with them? I know. Uh, on some. Well, next up, we're going to find out about our next fun Friday from Miss Giorgio. All right, here, here we, we go. go. Hi, Bodfield. Miss Gal and Miss Clifton just told us about Earth Day this week. So, in honor of Earth Day, you're going to wear either blue or green for Fun Friday to celebrate the Earth and all of the wonderful things on it. Let's save our planet. Wow, wow. Earth, Earth Day. Are you going to dress up like a big globe? Maybe. I know, I thought about that. I could get something to make a big round circle on me. And what if we could, remember those one knocker balls we had that one year? Yes. What if we could get some of those? Yes. We could paint them green and blue, right? Yeah. Okay. That would be awesome. I All think right. we might have to try that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Up next, attendance announcement from Miss Lydia. All right. Here we go. Buzz, buzz, Bottenfield. Welcome back to our attendance all-stars. Don't be jealous that I got a Jankies tanky and you don't have to sport the Jankies hanky today as well. Attendance is going to be a little bit different with awards this time. Unfortunately, we have ran out of the masks sponsored by or given to us by the PTA, but that's not totally a bad thing. That's actually an awesome thing. You guys have blown my mind with this perfect attendance. We thought we'd be able to make it through the whole year with those masks. We haven't, so that's actually a good thing. You guys are rocking it out. So for this week's perfect attendance... Some of you may remember these awesome bee necklaces we used to have. 
you're getting one of these. It's a necklace with a bee charm and your perfect attendance charm. You can save these throughout your whole career at Bottenfield and we will add charms as we go for next year. You are also getting a perfect attendance certificate. It will be personalized with your name. And if your parents take you to Texas Roadhouse, you get a free meal with the purchase of their meal. So thanks to everybody that is going to win today. Here we go. Kindergarten, virtual learning, Morgan Pearson from Mr. Kepis's class, and in person, Tristan Netter McCorby from Miss Clifton's class. Congratulations. Second grade, virtual, Makai Richardson from Miss Cheatham, and in person, Rex Ibrahim from Miss McElroy's class. Congratulations, second grade. We're going to skip down the hallway to fifth grade. Virtual learner from Miss Davis's class, Max Suchin. And in person, Natalie Loy from Mr. McDaniel's class. Congratulations, fifth grade. Third grade, in person student from Mr. Chu's class, Allie Croy. And virtual learner from Mr. Chu's class as well. Lila Friedman, congratulations, third grade. Fourth grade, we have virtual from Miss Rankin's class. It is Arush. I apologize, I have the hardest time saying your last name, so you are my one and only Arush, congratulations. You got perfect attendance for virtual. And then in person, I have Elena Telez from Miss Bergner's class. Congratulations, fourth grade. First grade virtual learner, Minnie Kang from Miss Davis's class, and in person, Miss Satterley McKenna Sopa. Congratulations, first grade, and all of my other grades. Thanks again for having perfect attendance. We greatly appreciate it. Keep on keeping on. We'll see you next week. Buzz, buzz. Great job, all you guys being perfect attendance. That's right. Show it up. Yes. Nice work. Nice work. Good job. Well, you know, I was thumbing through some videos and yep. I noticed there's another episode of The Value Man. Yeah. Q. It's a huge hit, man. Is it? Yeah. Do you enjoy going out and just driving people around? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. The right. best part is when they get it wrong, though, and then you gotta get oh, out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel do. bad a little bit, but they know the rules. So uh, okay. let's check out this episode of Value Man. You got it. Welcome to the value van. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. All right. And there are 10 of them. Uh, try to get all 10 of them right. If you get three of them wrong, you'll be asked to leave the value van. And All right. Well, question number one, since we're right here in the parking lot, we'll go ahead and ask it. What is the Bottenfield mascot? B. Very good. See, told you they were easy. Buzz, buzz. There you go. All right. Question number two. Who does the announcements in the afternoon for the kids that are in person? This is Giorgio. All right, very good, very good. All right, question number three. Which bearded dragon is older, Larry or Lizzie? I'm gonna say Larry. All right, is that your final answer? Yes. All right, you are incorrect. It's actually Lizzie. <laughs> Which is my bearded dragon. Okay. All right, so that's one wrong. All right, so Bottenfield was built in 1955. What year was the church next to it built? 1955. No, actually, it was 1923. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. So right now you got two wrong ladies and we are getting further away from school. So let's hope you guys can turn this around. All right. Um, what does AVID stand for? Hmm. 
question. Do we get a pass? No, we do not get a pass. Do, do we, we get phone a friend? Yes. We do not phone a friend. <laughs> All right. Do you have an answer? No. All right. Nope. <laughs> it, it stands for advancement via individual determination. See how it has independent. I was going to say development. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Oh, yes, that's what we have to. All right. All right. Well, we'll start our walk back. All right. Back. Yeah. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, that was another good episode. Hey, by the way, I saw you had Miss Cheatham. Yes. Were you taking her to Cheatham's Cheetah's Sanctuary? No, but I was really concerned that if I you know, kicking her out that one of those cheetahs was going <laughs> to run me down and get me in the old van. Uh, you know, I can see that. That van, I don't know if it could outrun a cheetah. No, that's why they call it the value van. You got it. All right. Well, you know what? All this fun yep. has to get paid for somehow. Yes, it does. So how about a Kane's Kitchen? Today? All right. Let's go. Welcome back to this week's King's Kitchen. Today we are going to be talking about Ramadan, the most important Muslim holiday. It's actually not just one day, um, but many students in our school, like Naba, Abdurrahman, Noor, Safwan, Ibrahim, Ismail, um, Ansar, Nada, so many people are celebrating. So people pray, they read the Quran, and eat. However, people fast in the daylight. So they eat very early in the morning and in the evening when the sun sets. The evening meal is called an iftar and we will have the feast with our fourth grade teachers. Yay! So in Muslim homes, the food is way better than I could get. Homemade food is always the best. So we're going to start out with fresh dates. So everyone eats a date to start the meal. So I'm going to open this up and pass this around. We're going to eat the hummus, a chickpea dip with bread. So we all have pita bread, and the hummus is also on the plate. What do you think? Good. That's really good. good. I like that a lot. Yeah, the Middle Eastern hummus is a little bit different than normal hummus mm -hmm. that we eat, but it's very good, isn't it? Yes. Good. Okay, next is the falafel. A chickpea ball that is fried. It's deep fried, it's brown. That one right there. Mm -hmm. The outside is really good. It's so colorful on the inside. Yeah. That's not expected. Also, we need to try the shawarma, which is a type of sandwich with meat. So. I think actually it's a Spanish sandwich right here. It's really light. Mm. I love that. Mm. And now, last but not least, we will have dessert. And here is the dessert. I'm going to actually pass it around. And if you guys can grab it with your fork. Mm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. So what would you say is your favorite one? The dessert. The dessert? <laughs> I'm a sweet person. Sorry. I took a really big bite of the falafel. Oh, Miss Bergner likes the dates. Oh, sorry, the, the falafel. falafel. <laughs> and the dates. <laughs> and the dates. I really like whatever this... The spinach, spinach sandwich is. Hmm. No, oh, I like my favorite. The hummus is good, too. It's mm -hmm. all really, really good. Really good. Really mm -hmm. really good. Yeah, everything's pretty it's good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Very good. I should try more foods. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, Botten Field, thank you so much for joining our iftar and happy Ramadan for those of you who are celebrating. Bye.
Whoa, they tried some interesting food there. I know, some of them, but that looked pretty good. Yeah, it did, it actually did. So, yes. Awesome, and good job, fourth grade teachers, for trying that different food. And you know what? Let's go ahead and say happy Ramadan yes. to everybody who celebrates that. I noticed that on Kane's Kitchen. Yes, happy Ramadan. Yes. All right, now it's time for one of the other things we like to go to. Yes. And that's the teacher shout out with Miss Leach. Let's see who she's going to shout out today. All right. Hi, it's Miss Leach with Teacher Shout Out of the Week. This week's shout out goes to Miss John. We want to thank Miss John for always making sure the kids have fun during ESL because we know how much fun and the time that you put into all of your lessons. We know that you're kind, you're patient, and you're always there for everyone around the school. Thanks, Miss John. Buzz, buzz. Good job, Miss John. Yes, I tell you what, every time I walk by that room, she is on Zoom and she is working. So, yes. I mean, she's she's done a lot. She has, she's done a lot. I mean, she stepped in for Miss Kane too, on yeah. Kane's Kitchen a couple episodes. Yeah, so. so, good job, Miss John. Yes, thank you. Good job. Well, guess what? what mystery person yes all right last week's mystery person i am a fan of the new york mets yes i love to play tennis yes and i went to college in boston massachusetts Ooh. it was miss schmidt. schmidt yeah yes all right yep, we're glad yep, to have yep. her back she was gone there for a little while because of her baby right yes yes baby cleo yes she is back she is and back. ready and Hopefully holding down the fort as a Mets fan. Not very many of those. Not in this area. Uh, nope, but yeah. not too bad. But guess what? What? It's time for round two of yes. Mystery Person! Clue number one. Clue number one is I was born and raised in Champaign, Illinois. Clue number two. My family lived in Montana for three summers while my husband earned his degree. So they're married. Hmm. Clue number three. All right, you ready? My great-great-grandfather served in the Spanish-American War with Teddy Roosevelt. What? Who am I? And I have a picture to show her great-great-grandfather and Teddy Roosevelt. No way. Yep. Next to each other. Dude, that's cool. Yes, very cool. Like, that's cool. Any ideas? I have no clue. I hope I stumped John this week. You probably did. You usually do. Yeah. I don't know. We got some interesting staff. Yeah. I need to get out more. So that you could have a more interesting clue? Yeah, because I usually just stay in my room all day and I don't even see people that often, so. But I think you pop in on everybody soon. No, that's not true. Oh. Maybe like maybe like virtually, but not like in person. Oh, I like okay. to stay in my room, not walk around, do stuff. Yeah, you, know? you are. Yeah, you like to stay secluded. Yep. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, another great episode of Being It brought to you by Mr. Keepus and Mr. McDaniel. So, shout out to the third, fourth, and fifth grade you got this week. All right. Yes. You can do it. You can do it. All right. All right. So have a good week. Have a good week and we'll see you at the hive. All right.